What does it mean to be open? Is it to be vulnerable? Is it to be fearless? To want to try new experiences? I believe it is all that and more. In a society where we are more connected than ever, we could not be further from connection. Games, streaming sites, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube are only a few things that take us away from it all and keep us within the digital world. We have more that keeps us linked to our phones than we do to each other. With the added weight of the pandemic that is pushing us to stay at home, work from home, is it truly that hard to see how we diverted down this path? This is just my take, but it is this path that has reduced our capacity to be open, not only with each other, but ourselves too. I am fearful that over the years we will lose this capacity. You only need to look as far as my home country, Japan, as almost a dystopian black mirror-like future. Family rentals, virtual partners, and digital marriages It is happening already. Humans thrive off genuine human connection. We all want to be heard, and it takes so little for us to be encouraged. Even a single compliment can go as far as to make a person's day. A quote by Dr. Joanne Cacciatore goes like this. There simply is no pill that can replace human connection. There is no pharmacy that can fill the need for compassionate interaction with others. There is no panacea. The answer to human suffering is both within us and between us. Now, more than ever, we have to treasure the relationships we have, the friends we hold dearest to us, the family that we have, How often does one take a step back and realise what is in front of them? It is so easy to take for granted, like we did going out to restaurants, bars, clubs. Life is not infinite. Personally, being open is to be honest. It is to acknowledge that there is plenty of suffering in the world we live in and we cannot cope by ourselves. That takes courage because we do not think about judgment from peers or what we may be portrayed as. Maybe previously thinking to ourselves that the admittance of aid is some kind of weakness, when in reality, it is very much the opposite. Asking for help is to display vulnerability and to be vulnerable is to be fearless. Do not let anybody tell you otherwise. This is not to say to tell everyone you meet your problems all in one go. Rather live life with an open mind and seek your friends, family and partners when something positive or negative happens. Being comfortable is a tricky medium. I do not mean in the sense of being financially well off but rather being in a repetitive cycle of what we already know. Eating the same foods, listening to the same music, watching the same films, experiencing the same things we do on a day-to-day basis. What's more is that we can so easily fall into this without realising and it becoming the norm. It can seem as if we are in a simulation of our own life as if we are playing level one on a Super Mario Brothers on a continuous basis. Getting out of that comfortability is important as it enriches our lives. Take traveling, for example. When we open our eyes and experience what local cuisine or their culture has to offer, we add another layer to our soul, building the foundations for a more enhanced life. Going to a new country and encountering all this will truly benefit you. But it does not have to start there. It can be as simple as going on your Discover Weekly on Spotify and finding a fantastic artist. 
that fantastic artist for me was still Woozy. I implore the people listening to push themselves outside of their comfort zone, beyond the fear of the unknown and the uncertainty. Because once you reach the top of the summit and gaze upon the view that is the new experience, you can truly feel some magic happening. I'm by no means a qualified coach, nor will I pretend to be. I am a simple food lover who tries to live by the concepts mentioned above. But if there are a couple things to take away from this video, then let it be this. Be kind to someone today. Give someone close to you a genuine compliment or tell them how you appreciate that person in their life because it is not said enough. Two, take a moment to write down three things that you are grateful for in your life and see how you feel. And finally, remember that being open will allow you to truly have some wonderful people in your life.